Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and this is the Pizel Rat Skull. I've been surfing this board uh, quite a bit this summer, as you can tell by the, uh, the dirt and the wax, and uh, wax all over the place on this thing. And uh, it's been a blast. Uh, good all-around board, great board to have uh, in the truck for, you know, kind of do everything summer duty out in the, uh, in the lineup. Uh, basically, Pizel markets the Rat Skull as their grovel, as their full-on grovel board, and it's available in a in a couple different uh, outlines, one being the full tail outline where there is no wing right here. Uh, it just goes straight back with a wider tail, and that's the full-on mega groveler. And then they also have one with a little wing right here. And what that does is it brings the tail into a, a more moderate tail block, still gives you the width forward where you need it, but brings it back in a little bit, which is going to give the board a little bit more control at speed and also gives you a nice pivot point and release point right here. Uh, and then also probably the most important thing is it allows the board to be ridden effectively, uh, not only as a quad, but as a tri fin as well. So when you, when you have that really big tail block, the board's going to be uh, better suited towards just uh, a quad or even a five fin like a quad with a nubster where this board because of this wing and, and a little bit more moderate tail block right here, uh, actually worked really well as a thruster um, as well. I rode it quite a bit quad and thruster and, and liked it both ways, um, depending on the wave that I was surfing. But uh, the fact that it does work well as a thruster, I think is appealing to a lot of people, um, especially people that don't like riding quad fins. Uh, this board, there's two boards in the Pizel lineup <coughs> that a lot of people want to know, like, hey, what's the difference between the two of them? With the Rat Skull, I would say it's the Rat Skull and the Nugget because they're both real similar as far as you know being shorter, wider, fuller hybrids. The biggest difference is that the Rat Skull is fuller and rounder in the nose up here, and then also goes uh, carries much more width through the back uh, third of the board. So basically, from here back carries a lot more width there, and is also a flatter rocker on the board. Uh, the Rat Skull is a relatively flat board, which is going to make it paddle great. Uh, it's going to make it glide really efficiently across flat spots and, and give the ability to generate a lot of speed. But if you're trying to fit this board into a really round wave, a real pitchy takeoff, you're definitely going to have to angle it into the wave a little bit more than something that has more rocker uh, throughout the board. Looking at this board, uh, whether you're looking at it in a video or photos or even like a, a computer picture of the board, the, you expect it to be wider than it is. Uh, a lot of boards in, in this type of cat board category are, you know, 22 inches wide, 23 inches wide. And so initially, like this is a 510, you'd be thinking, oh, it's like 510 by 22, but it's not. It's actually 510, 21 and a half. Uh, and so typically this board is anywhere from like a half to a full inch narrower than other boards uh, you know, from other brands that are in that same category. And when the overall shape of the board, the other thing that you'll notice is that the nose shape gets wide quickly. So it almost has like a bulb, it like bulbs out here and gets to that max width very quickly. And so you have a proportionately wider nose to a narrower board that then carries that width longer and then tucks in. And so what that does is it gives you about the same volume if you went narrower nose, then wide, and then narrow. But it also gives you uh, a narrower width, which is always going to go rail to rail faster. So one thing I found about this board is that it, it has the ability to uh, generate speed much more efficiently than a lot of the super wide grovelers do because it goes edge to edge really quickly. The other thing is by having that long parallel outline, it, it's just really efficient through the water and gives you a lot of drive off the rail line that you do have. So going wide and then, but staying a little bit more conservative on the width and then carrying it longer is definitely a good recipe in, in this board. The, uh, talking a little bit about the tail design, again, it's still pretty wide right here and then it tucks in. So when you're, when you're riding this board, you have the ability and you can even see like where the deck is denting up a little bit right here. If you do want to step forward off the pad, you're going to be on a much wider part of the board than if you're back here all up against the, against the ramp on the, on the tail pad. So this is, gives you, if you're just full on grovel and you're just trying to eke your way across a section, you can either be on the front of the pad or step forward and you're on a much wider part of the board than if you're back here for a quick, uh, quick snap. This board, I would say, 
size properly, like you're going to be able to ride it down here, like shin high, knee high, absolutely no problem. Uh, on the better days, uh, with an easy roll in and, and not too much like pitching, like where the rocker is getting, getting to be a problem, I uh, rode this one up to like solid shoulder high, maybe a, a head high drop. Uh, but again, like on those waves, like you're not going to want like a powerful, thick, heaving shoulder to head high. It's more like a, like a wind mush or a left, you know, leftover wind swell that high. Absolutely no problem uh, handling that type of wave, um, especially if you have that drop down in the, uh, in the tail width just to keep the tail uh, under control. And just real fun riding a board in those conditions that's shorter and uh, more playful, be able to throw turns all over the, all over the face. So like I mentioned, I did end up riding it both uh, quad and thruster, uh, really liked it in both setups, which on a board like this, you would typically kind of be looking more towards going with a quad. Uh, ended up running the, the F8 black sticks in mine quite a bit, which this is a really good speed generating fin in the futures lineup. Uh, and again, both as a quad and as a thruster. These fins really light. Uh, they've got a really good foil on them as far as generating additional speed down the line which when you're riding this board, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to generate speed the whole time. So great board, really good all around performer. You basically have this and you know, an all around short board or an all around hybrid and you got a good, great two board quiver with uh, Pizel. It's the Pizel Rat Skull. If you have any more questions on this board, you can give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000 or check it out online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.